This recording is going to explain how students can take a picture with their Chromebook of their work and submit it or turn it in to a Google Classroom assignment. I'm a student here in Mrs. Welch's first grade class and I'm going to go into her class and look in the classwork section of her classroom for the assignments that have been assigned to me by her. I'm going to pick this Thursday assignment and choose to view it. And I see she's got some instructions for me and some videos to watch. If I click on one of the videos, I'll be able to play the videos. They'll open in a new tab. I can watch the videos, get the instruction from her. And when I'm finished watching the video and reading the instructions, I'll go back to the classroom assignment. And this is where I'll submit my work. Now, I may not be doing the work here on the Chromebook. I might be doing the work on paper with a pencil. If so, I'll need to add that to this assignment. And you'll see over here in the Your Work section of this student view, there's a button called Add or Create. That button is going to let me add or create a new document, or if you'll notice here, there's an option to attach a file. The file can be anything that's on this Chromebook, including a picture. So before I add the file, I'm going to take the picture. Chromebooks have cameras, and on a Chromebook, if I go all the way down to the bottom left corner to the app launcher, I can quickly find the camera app. Now I can type the word camera the first time, but after I have done it a time or two, the camera icon will appear here in the list of apps. When the camera app opens, then the camera turns on. The camera will by default be in mirror mode. Don't worry about that. Go ahead and take a picture of the work that you're trying to submit to your students or to your teacher, excuse me. So here I've got the picture of my work. I'm going to click on the take a photo button. It took a picture of my work. Yes, I know it looks backwards. That's because that's the way the camera operates. It's backwards or mirror view. But when I take the picture, the picture will be right way around. Now let me show you where it saved the picture and how I can add it as a file. I'm still in Mrs. Welch's first grade classroom in that assignment. And under the Your Work section, I've clicked on Add or Create. I'm going to choose File. And a window pops up that gives me the option to attach files. Now, the last computer file I opened on this computer was the video I was watching. But you'll see the second choice here on the top row is Upload. I can upload. That means push up a picture from my Chromebook up to the Internet or the Google Drive cloud with the Browse option. So that's Upload, Browse, and here are all of the sound files, picture files, and video files that are on my computer. If I click on Images, then I'll see right here in a list, or if I'd rather see a thumbnail view, I can click on Thumbnail. There we go. There are all the pictures I've taken. I only took one, but there it is. Notice it's not backwards. It's right reading. I'm going to select it, and way down here in the bottom corner is an open option. So I've selected the picture. If there were multiple pictures, I could select them all, but I'll just do one, open. And that picture just got attached to my work. And now by selecting turn in, I can turn it in to Mrs. Welch. If there was more for me to add, I could click again, add or create link and go get a different picture or use the camera tool to take a new picture. That's the same document I realize, but we'll take the new picture. There it is. And so now I don't have to worry about where it is. I'll just click add or create file. And in my list of pictures, when I go to upload, browse, and I'll now see two pictures, the first one I took and the second one. So let's go ahead and add that second one. Open. It will attach both of those pictures. Don't worry about the funny little name it gives it because it's attaching to my work. Mrs. Welch will know that it came from me and I'll click turn in. It will ask me, hey, do you want to attach both of these pictures? I'll say yes. And now my pictures attached to this assignment were just turned in to Mrs. Welch. I know that I've turned them in because I see my work was turned in. 
If the deadline for the work has not passed, I can press unsubmit and they'll come back to me. But I'm going to wait for Mrs. Welch to finish looking at my work and give me some feedback or return the work to me. And when she does, it will the status will change to returned and I can look at it and see what comments she has for me about the work that I submitted to her.